took my power took my back. back. I'm glad I overcame it because I get to be the player I want to be, and I'm not even I'm not done yet. 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 Hi everyone, I am Red Bull Cloud9 Cuddlecore and I compete in Tekken 7 for Cloud9. I have been playing competitive Tekken for about eight years, but professionally for five. My play style is explosive, fast paced, dynamic, oppressive, suffocating, smothering, unpredictable. I don't think there's a certain play style I, I don't like playing against. I think for me, I'm always so much more focused on my play style, just running over everybody else's. Oh, I put a lot of rage on yeah. oh, oh, the rage. Wow. The, 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 the C3, so the I'll Cuddle Core <laughs> Classic. Man, she hits everybody with Three this. Seeds. Cuddle Core Classic was a term created by Tasty Steve. It's my explosiveness, the way that my rage drive my success rate on hitting people with it is just chef's kiss. It's, it's pretty high. Oh, oh, wow. She's getting whatever she wants. When I hit you with it, it's like you don't see it. Just, just one more hit. Oh, and there it him. is. And Cuddle Court is your Texas Showdown 2023 Tekken 7 champion. Texas Showdown was great. It was my uh, second uh, offline win. I've never had a crowd cheer my name like that. It was, it's something out of a movie. It's something out of a movie. And it made me feel like who I am, uh, everything about me from the way I look, my background, all of it, my skill, were the things that were appreciated, right? That that's what mattered to me, that I was seen as everything. And that the skill though was the appreciation. It'll, it'll, it'll be a memorable win for me for forever. Cuz, in your memory, how did your dad react when he was defeated by Mama Cuz a long time ago? Did he rage or was he graceful? He was graceful, but the thing is- I like, don't really think I, I, I did not, I don't think I defeated I, him. I think you did. I, cause I, what I remember was like- Cause I'm pretty sure if I had beaten him- but Dad was the button I masher too. I would not have forgotten. Dad was a button masher too. Oh, I don't know. My dad got me into Tekken from around like five or seven years old. I just remember being really young and playing the game a lot with him. It was always this, dynamic between us where I hated losing to him. So I would get really upset and I would cry. He taught me something really simple, but very valuable. Stop crying and go to practice mode. And that's something that I keep with me always. It, it keeps me passionate, determined, and it keeps a fire underneath me. Cause I, I know I can always beat anything. If a practice mode exists, if, if training partners exist, I know I can beat anything that I've lost to before. And I okay. won't lose to the same thing. Oh, the hop kick. No, if that, Cuddle Core finishes it, that, that's, that's, it. It. that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, Cuddle Core. Let's go, Cuddle Core. Unbelievable. Cuddle Core popping Over off Anakin. with a much deserved W. Can I do a like? Yes, of course. Yes, I'd be loved. <laughs> I love it. Being the first FTC player for uh, Cloud9, I'm honored and I'm glad they're giving me that chance because they respect me. And that makes me feel so good to be noticed by such a, a massive team. <laughs> this industry, uh, it can be very uh, unpredictable. And especially as a pro player, you finding your, your, your place in this and having a, a career that takes care of you is, is hard, but I took a chance because it's something I love so much. So I had the courage to do that, but also because I had so much support. It meant a lot because some of the, the people I respect and care about and have fought alongside and against were there. They shared in my success, they shared in my joy, and they were proud of me. They've always showed nothing but, but genuine like, support of the things that I do, regardless of if we're fighting each other on the stage or we're not. That's the kind of camaraderie that I've, I've truly experienced, probably only here. Cuddlecore advances to the top five now. Excuse me, it's seven guys, one late. Cuddlecore is just plowing through the competition right now. What a dominant win. I think one of the toughest things for me as I was building my brand was being nervous about how people would take my image. Or, you know, people would say things about women, how they look compared to actually talking about skill. And those were things that I really had to work past and get therapy for because how you think about yourself and how you see yourself when you look in that mirror is so much more important than what anybody else thinks. My younger sister as well, she taught me how to do my makeup, something that I had never really delved deep into until I called her on the phone one day crying because I felt so insecure about it after competing on stage one year. 
she said, if it's something you want to get more comfortable with, because those are lights, those are cameras, like I understand, like, you know, you feel, you know, kind of conscious, we can do it because you want to, but don't do it for others. Do it because you want to. Claim your self-worth, you take that back, you claim that power back. It took me some time to, to realize that given some of the, the things that I, I had experienced in this space, but I took my power back and ultimately that, um, I'm glad I overcame that because I get to be the player and pro I want to be and I'm not even done yet. Cut of court right now on set point. Tournament point for Cuddle right mm -hmm. now. Oh, the wall whips, not ready no. for it. Okay. Got the right. right. Wall position. Are we at the wall? Oh my god. Oh, that block of this wall. No. Oh, Cuddle court is going to be your defended North champion. Oh my god. That was so crazy and intense. Newly signed to Cloud9, able to come out here and perform for her team. When Tekken 8 comes out, I'm already going to be super prepared to go on the grind. The consistency I've had with Seven, it's going to, it's only going to improve. I've won tournaments, proven that I'm a champion and consistent for a few years now, and I'm always getting better, I'm always evolving. And because I have so many great resources with Cloud9, it's only going to make me a better and stronger player. Outside of competing, I also stream, commentate. I've done charity fundraisers. I'm also a public speaker. That's one that I really love talking about. My experiences as a pro player is an experience that sometimes people aren't aware of. Being able to be that connector for people is really important. The future looks really good with C9 Cuddle Core. I can tell you that right now. Thank you so much to AT&T for highlighting me joining Cloud9 and for letting me share and tell my story.